get on and start working. All right. Uh, I would like yep. to ask the captain, since our crew has been shortened down to three, and that's one less person to feed, is it possible that two of us could work for a slightly reduced pay? <clears throat> uh. Sure, you know what? Two of you, it's slightly reduced pay. All right. Stig is willing to work for free. Excuse Flint and I. me? I, I'm not talking in your presence. You can, you can talk to me about this later. We just walked on. No, he said we walked on and we got to work. Mm -hmm. I approached the captain as we were working. You're going to get fucked up and just bend over and take it. Look, she's in a jail cell. She knows how this works. <laughs> Except I'm the one doing the fucking come on. I'm the Amazon. Ha. Huh. Hot. All right. The captain agrees. Okay. And Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. Do you guys just want to fast forward until you guys get to Sanctuary? Unless you have something planned. No, I didn't really. It's just going to be a safe, seafaring voyage. Especially For now that there's no Psyker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay. Anyone else want anything? No. Nah. I'm good. Cool. Right. It was way better than spending a whole session on the boat. Yeah, yeah. you guys you guys get to a Sanctuary about two weeks later. Oh, sweet uh, God, I'm back at full health. As you uh, depart the boat, the captain hands uh, Flint and Mercury 42 gilt apiece. Okay, I have money again. Excellent. Wait. Oh, also, uh, during this time, Flint, you started getting some pretty severe headaches. I do? Yes. Still have the things on your legs. <clears throat> yeah. Like, they started normally, and then as you guys were on the ship longer and longer, they got progressively worse, and now they're quite irritating. So, you guys uh, depart the ship and you're back in Sanctuary. <gasps> we can finally go to a different map, you guys. <gasps> the <Yeah. old> map. <laughs> How I missed it so. It's back. I don't oh remember his name, but we head to his house. Good. Oh, tag. You, you yeah. don't remember his name? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was before I had Total Recall, I'm sorry. Yeah. Joanna's gone, Merc's still there, Flint's there. And Stiggy Stig. So why did you two get paid? Because we did a lot of work on the ship. We kicked ass, man. I see these biceps right here. <laughs> these pythons. <laughs> Silver tongue, baby. You know what this is? Christ. It's a gun. Also, that's what you were doing. You know what this is? It's a gun rack. <laughs> I'm just so good looking. Yeah, I did as much work as the both of you. That's debatable. Uh, so I thought only one of us was going to get paid. We worked it out. Did you? I don't know. Look, the captain just really liked... Uh, Really liked my efforts in the kitchen. <laughs> Stig is speechless. <laughs> well, it... He, he can only get so erect. <laughs> Settle down, Archer. See? Even Chad agrees. 
Looks like Merc's the new fan favorite. No. No, it's just Devin's finally in the uh, heel position. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, from what Chad's saying. <laughs> so you guys get off the boat, you head to Tax House uh, while you're having this conversation. Uh, it looks quite lived in, but you don't see Tack anywhere. Hmm. I wonder why. Uh, I would like to inquire around the area as to who is currently residing in that house. Roll it up, baby. <clears throat> yes, uh, some transients bought it and they moved in. Bought it from who? From the I palace. Was... It had been unattended, so the palace reacquired it and sold it to, to new tenants. Of course. That makes sense. So, now what do you guys want to do? Uh, Alright, Stig, if you'd like to find a place to stay, or, you know, if you have to go your separate way as you are no longer obliged to travel with us, feel free. Uh, Flint and I are going to go to the palace and see about getting our old house back. I'll, I'll accompany you that far. I, too, have a reason to go to the palace. I see. Uh, I suppose we go to the palace. All right, you guys go to the palace. Aha! You make your way up the very awesome, awesomely long and elegant staircase up to the governor's palace, walk into the Hall of Justice, and... Hi, Mushroom! <laughs> but what the fuck? How did you get here before us? <laughs> Our... Look at all that blood behind her. <laughs> Good. I'm sorry, I'm going to mute myself now. Thank you. <clears throat> that would be for the best. But yeah, you're uh, you're greeted by uh, one of the guards who asks what you're doing, or what you want, rather. I come on behalf of Lady Esker uh, with assignment to report to Tempest. Well, uh, Tempest is in his war room. Uh, may I ask what this pertains to? Uh, strange happenings in and around Grya. Very well. Uh, just a moment. And he looks over. Stig, you're back? Yep. And you're with them? They were keeping me company. Well, uh, I suppose, uh, Stig, you can show them the way to the war room. I'll nod to him and walk past. And when he is not looking at us, I'd like to cipher to, uh, Flint. Just keep quiet. So, any bonuses for, uh... Uh, yeah, just do plus 30, because it's real s actually no if you're just I doing like get it shush, yeah <laughs> no it's fine that's very simple okay uh yes you guys uh come into uh a large circular room surrounded by maps uh layouts of geography uh many little like flags and obvious for troop movement uh are kept in this room there are a a lot of uh, important looking very well decorated uh, hellhounds and people who are probably other military officials uh, Tempest sits in the middle of the room playing Warhammer 40k <laughs> no uh, he sits in the middle of the room uh, listening uh, to all of all of his uh... wow I can't think of that word all of his people but saying nothing uh, before we get too far into the room, 
uh, I'd like to use my cursed sight. Just in case I, uh, you know, have an <laughs> eyegasm again, I'd like to not do that in front of him. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, roll perception for me. Good. <gasps> what do I win? A new you win player. the new prize. Yay! You have an eyegasm. The Tempest kills you for it. Yay! Said it freaked him out. You should stop it. Then it killed you. <laughs> then he stopped it. He's appeased. Uh, as you look at Tempest, uh, for a, f- a brief second, you see uh, long strands of um, red and purple pulling at the core of his being uh, and a, a bright white light uh, pushing against them. Crap, what's her name? Are you talking about his sister? Yeah. Sarna, right? I don't actually have her name written down because I never actually met her. Pretty sure it's well, Sarna. But anyways, uh, uh, the split second you see her, uh, his sister uh, appear from behind his chair, the vision vanishes. All right. You, you, I'm sorry. Did you say blue and purple or blue and red? Uh, it was purple, or it was red and purple. Red and purple. Okay. Uh, I continue to uh, either listen in on his war room meeting or stay out of the way so as not to impose. Uh, you hear... Or Stig, is there anything you're going to do? Or are you just going to sit back too? Um, I'm basically going to walk in his eye line, but other than that, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Uh, you hear things of uh, troop movements through cities that you've never heard of, Mercury. Stig, you've heard of these cities. Uh, hey. Of the Alknot, uh preparing for battle. Uh, you hear murmurings of, of the attack on Gryah and ponderings as to who caused it. Uh, after a, a brief moment, uh, Tempest looks directly at you and Stig and points and then tells you to get, well, he points at you and motions for you to join him. I join him at the round table? Walk over. Oh, he's just sitting uh, in the center of a circular room. Got on it. On like a kind of a, not like a like throne, a, raised. But a very large yeah. chair. Mercury, I see you've made a new friend out in the wild. I turn to Stig and turn back to him. That that might be overstating things. <laughs> I've made an acquaintance out in the wilds. So have you brought me back any useful news? Where is the rest of uh, your party? Where is Lady Esker? And where is that... Uh, Fool of a, of a witch. Funny you should mention the fool. May or may not have murdered Esker. Heavily leaning towards the May side. Tried to do the rest of us in as well. And what became of him? Uh, the same thing that became of Lady Esker. A shriveled, burnt corpse lying in the basement of Gryah, never to be seen or heard from again. Interesting. He didn't really learn how to choose his targets very well. Well, that is unfortunate for Lady Esker. Yes, most. Have you brought me any any uh, information or anything of uh, use in these troubled times? Unfortunately, I have no useful information for you at this point in time. I can tell you of what we saw in Gryah, but I fear it's nothing you do not already know. Uh, 
Nothing I wouldn't already know. <clears throat> there are strange happenings at Graia. It would appear as though people in or around Graia have been sprouting up with powers as Stig over here is not the first acquaintance I made. Uh, there is another, a witch who joined us just outside of Graia and led us to uh, Artsdorf. She is currently incarcerated for attempted murder of a bar patron. When we tried to pay her bail, I noticed uh, her eyes glowing, much the same as Slate's used to. I believe her to be a witch. Interesting. What is her name? She would not tell us. Uh, she goes by the moniker of either Eyes or Bow. She went by Eyes until she named Flint over there Sun Eyes and declared it too confusing to have two eyes and deemed herself Bow. She is a wildling, a large Amazon of a woman. She is likely to be hung for her crimes, but if you'd like to expedite the process, she shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, he calls one of his uh, servants up and whispers to him for a moment, and then the servant rushes out of the room. Very well. <laughs> uh, so, was there anything else that you cared to report, or was this mission mostly just a, uh, a waste of time? It was largely a waste of time, resources, and uh, one good arbitrator. I can tell you that... Uh, the systems in Graia continued to run autonomously, uh, without any outside influence, um, with weaponized servitors walking around, kidnapping those who were chosen worthy to enter to experiment on them. For what purpose, I don't know. We got close to them once, or we got close to uh, the patients once, but were forced to retreat as their numbers were too many and their firepower too great. Other than that, uh, the only other information which everyone appears to have already heard is that it seems as though Graia has come under some sort of an attack. We had already left when it happened, but we could see plumes of smoke rising into the air from mile, or from kilometers away. Interesting. And he turns to Stig. Uh... Anything else to report? Let's see here. Here, map, 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 wrong map. <laughs> Good. Chasing all, chasing all, not official to Graia. Couldn't get too much out of him, so I killed him. Very well. Did you, perchance, see anything more of the attack? No, I was with them when we were leaving. I see. Well, I suppose I will have to mobilize some of my forces to fully comprehend what went on there. It appears the Alknot must have attacked. The land grab. Also, there's something weird going on in the desert. I can oh. vouch for that. What is going on in the desert? A cult of some weird white clawed things. Uh, kidnapping people and torturing them, and I wouldn't put it past them actually eating their flesh. Speaking of that, um, I reach into my backpack and pull out the uh, ornamented tool. Uh, this, we were... Well, some of us were captured by them. Stig and I returned to rescue. Uh, it didn't go very well. Although we did all manage to make it out alive. However, in the time in which we were unconscious, and I pull up my uh, pants to show him, we were all equipped with these devices on our legs. But after we escaped and killed most of these heretics... I managed to find this tool on their altar alongside a 
map of the area, which is currently in the holding cell with our dearly beloved bow, and a bowl filled with blood and a human heart, currently lying on the floor in a church in the desert. Well, based on the uh, engravings of the blade, it appears that someone is taking the teachings of Bereth a bit far in the desert. That is certainly one way of putting it. And these uh, objects on your leg, may I see one? You may. And I walk up to him and present it. Very interesting. We were hoping you might have some sort of medical facility with which we could get them removed. As you can see, they have been cauterized onto our legs. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, when we are done here, you can go into the... Or you can find our, our chirurgeon and he will remove them. Excellent, thank you. As they have been most troubling. I'm these sure. last few weeks. None of us here are aware of their function. Yes, they, uh, they appear to be purifiers. Purifiers? Uh, yes, they will, uh, well, if what I'm told is true, they should, uh, purify some of the poisons in your system. Mostly, uh, having to do with damaged blood cells. Hmm. I've heard that, Are they that, in any uh, way beneficial? Uh, well, they are used by, uh, those in the Temple of Bereth to, uh, not get any infections from cutting on themselves. <clears throat> so, I suppose they have their benefits, but who knows what those things in the desert have done to them. I got that, by the way, so, good. That's all you can say about it. So. Um. So, would it be in our best interest to leave them attached? That is up to you. If they function as they are supposed to, I suppose it would help if you ever came near death from blood loss. However, I do not know what these things in the desert. Would your Chirurgeon be able to tell us that, or would we need to seek out... Well, truthfully, I don't know what passes for a tech priest on your world. Yes, uh, I suppose you should have a scribe look at it and see if it has been meddled with in any way. Of course. And if he is unable to determine that, I suppose the best course of action would be to have it removed just to be safe. Yes, that would be the uh, safest course of action for you. Well, I thank you. However, uh, Stig mentioned some oddities in the desert. Uh, he witnessed one of them. Uh, there was another that he partially witnessed, but could not fully comprehend, as it was only Lady Esker and I to have fully encountered it. Whatever it may have been. Oh. I still don't know what it was, but were it not for Flint over here, I would surely have died before ever entering Graia. It was horrifying, whatever it was. It left Lady Esker sobbing on the desert floor, and I, paralyzed with fear, unable to move, as it began charging and clawing at her, some sort of ghoul. I don't know, I've never seen anything like it. It nearly killed her, and it would have done the same to me, but... We managed to fend it off. I don't know if it died, though, because I, once I scored the killing blow, it faded into dust. But just a few weeks ago, as we were heading up from Graia to Artstorf, I believe I saw it again. And 
uh, stick can vouch for that. But after it dissipated, two flying creatures that I don't know whether or not they're native to this world, but they were horrifying. Also, unlike anything I've ever seen, swooped down from the skies. And as they began attacking us, uh, Lady Esker's shotgun exploded in her hands, leaving her nearly dead. And they, and I pop open my shirt, partially destroyed my armor and left me for dead in the desert. Why they didn't finish me off, I'll never understand. Uh, as you're saying all of this, uh, Sarna stands next to Tempest and puts his puts her hand basically like on, a, on his neck kind of while listening to you. Mm-hmm. I know not what these phenomena were, but they were truly the most horrifying thing I have ever witnessed. And they happened in the deserts outside of Grya. Yes, and he, he turns. Uh, when we mobilize our forces, make sure that there are some hellhounds and some of the band to uh, protect against these atrocities in the desert. Is there anything else to, that you wish to report? Flint, Mercury, Stig? Unfortunately, I believe that's all of the information we've recovered from Grya and our journey to and from. At least from Flint and I. I can't be more thorough than Mercury already has been. Stig nods. Very well. Oh, Tempest, one more thing. Perhaps trivial, uh, but I realize I would not have taken note of it had it not been for the title, as I recognize that as very important. While we were in Grya, there were many etchings on the walls, all around. Uh, and they said nothing more than Inquisitor Cyphus Grunin. I don't know, I've never heard of that man before, but if he's an Inquisitor, surely he must have been high up. Now, you've been trapped behind the veil for, or not the veil, the uh, storm. You've been trapped mm -hmm. underneath the storm for a thousand years, but do your history books have anything on such a man? Why would his name be littered across the inside of a temple? Though perhaps he lived long before even we did, as the tech priests apparently abandoned Grya at least 400 years before we arrived. Ah, yes, that is interesting. Uh, I suppose you should speak with the scribes and the keepers of our history. I uh, do not recall a man named Cyphus, you said? I believe so, yes. Yes, I, uh, don't know any man by this name. No, I figured you might not, but I thought, uh, perhaps you had recognized it as a man of, uh, power and government. I'm gonna try scrutiny here. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> uh, Tempest is trying fairly hard, but you can tell that he's, uh, shocked by this name. Alrighty. Uh, please, uh, speak to the scribes and see if they know anything more. Of course. I thought that would be, uh, a useless, trivial piece of information, but anything to make this expedition not a waste of your time. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> well, at least we got some clue from the three months you've been gone. Yes. Oh, and if you're sending an expedition of men down to Grya, uh, I, I don't know what the plumes of smoke indicated, whether it was merely a skirmish outside or whether Grya itself has fallen. But should the entrance to Grya have been compromised, uh, I suggest your men be prepared for large mechanical spiders with very sharp blades attached as... Mm -hmm they nearly did in our party on several occasions. 
if Thank they're you. running amok outside of Pariah, it could mean a lot of casualties from pilgrims and military alike. Thank you. I will uh, ensure that they use the utmost caution. I apologize for the lack of brevity in this otherwise useless report. And yeah, motions you out of the room. You guys leave right. the room? Yeah, I leave I the room. Yep. Yep. So, what do you guys want to do now? Um, I want to go find that armor s or weaponsmith that uh, what's his face in Archdorf. Well, Sorry, before we no. do that, I'm going to speak to any form of secretary or anything like that in the palace. Uh, someone who works under Tempest that isn't Tempest. Okay. And I'd like to inquire as to uh, possible living quarters that we may purchase, rent out, or be afforded. Mm. Uh, she says uh, she'll see what she can do and get back, uh, and to come back to the palace before nightfall. Of course. Before even full. Thank you. And yeah, with that, I would like to uh, go with Danny to um, the temple of the god that you couldn't remember the name of to look for our religious gunsmith. Of course, before you go back to Danny, Stig's gonna take Merc aside and ask him about this guy that he was talking to um, uh, Tempest about. The one does he Raya. recall the name, or is he just gonna like? <clears throat> Hold on, one at a time, Devin. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, the guy you were talking to Tempest about, the one in Graya, the one that you were wondering if he knew about. Cyphus Grunin. The yeah. Yes. Who what of him? Who is that? An Inquisitor. Do you know anything more? I know that. What's an inquisitor? <laughs> Your knowledge of the land shall be great. I mean, your character wouldn't yeah. know. Since they've not lived under the Imperium's rule. Would I have to make a common yeah. lore Imperium test for that? Because I would know that an inquisitor is high up, but would I specifically know what they do? You wouldn't know what they do. Okay. I would just know a person of great power mm -hmm. within the Imperium. Or great authority, rather. A person of great, terrible authority. Yeah. 